Hi everybody, Ed here, and I want to show you a really, really cool feature of my favorite, favorite Twitter client, which is called TweetBot. Now, as it happens, I am recording this on my uh, iPad, because the iPad has the uh, mirroring right now, and uh, but that does, shouldn't matter to you, because what I want to show you is something that is totally, totally awesome. But something that a lot of you may not be aware of is the fact that it's also a brilliant application for not only monitoring your Twitter lists, which is really important for a whole bunch of reasons, but also creating Twitter lists as well. So first of all, just to show you where you can access them, is if I tap on the timeline up here at the very top of the screen, you'll see that it automatically loads in my lists and I can switch and put in my list here. And this is all of my top 20 Apple people, influencers in the Apple uh, market, which is fascinating. You tap there and I can press uh, go back to timeline again. So that's all well and good. Very interesting. But here's the cool thing. If I go down to uh, this bottom section here and choose lists, you can see that I can actually manage and create even new lists right from the application. And this is so powerful. Um, so what I'm going to do, and indeed, look at this, I can actually delete a list. And I'm going to delete this Arsenal one because, frankly, I'm not that happy with it. And I'm going to show you how to create a list. So, for example, I am going to type a new Arsenal list. I'm going to call it Arsenal And now I'm just creating a description. Drop that back. And you can choose to have uh, it private, so it's a private list for you, or have it off. Personally, I'm going to have it off because who knows, maybe people will be interested. And I believe, given what I'm going to show you today, that being the owner of a list is going to be a very, very, very valuable thing to be in the future. So let's hit save. Okay, great. So we've got our list, and I'll press Done. And you can see I've got Arsenal Top 20. So where do I start? Okay, so in this case, I don't want to do a search term. I want to hit Find People because I want to get uh, people. And you can see you can browse by interest, which is interesting. And I'm just going to put uh, Arsenal. Now, for players, this is really good. Check this out. So, already we've uh, got some key players here. So, well, hopefully Cesc will stay a Arsenal supporter over the summer, but I want to definitely include him in my list. So, I'm just going to tap this little uh, cog here, and look at this. Add to list. Arsenal top 20 and press save. Give it a sec. And now I've got Cesc. Now, of course, I want the official site, so I definitely want to add them. Add to list. Are you getting how easy this is? And so I'm just going to go and collate all these top people and have a specific list, uh, which will allow me to stay really up to date with people in Arsenal. And so we're going to keep going. Jack Wilshere, the legend that he is. Press save. Now, what's very interesting as a way to build out your list is, of course, to go into these individual accounts and see who they are following. Uh, Sammy Nasri, don't know how long he's going to uh, be with Arsenal, so I might give him a skip. So you can see here, Arsenal, uh, Arsenal Mania, 30,000 following 68. So I'm interested. I'm going to tap by tapping that logo. Here's Arsenal Mania, breaking news. Now let's scroll up and let's have a look at who they're following because they might have some people who I'm interested in following as well. You see how you can build up these lists. And if you're looking at analyzing, say, one of my key techniques, uh, which I learned from Hugh McKay, which is the top 20, following the top 20 in a marketplace and measuring yourself about where you're at in terms of market leadership, this is the way to create a list. But I've got to tell you, something that's far more important than all of this 
is, of course, what we can do once we've built this list. So I'm going to keep building my Arsenal list here, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you in another iPad application how I can start to use this list. Okay. Now I want to take you to the application, which I think, particularly when you're looking to interact and follow a market uh, well using Twitter lists, there's an application which is just born for it. And of course, I'm referring to Flipboard. This really uses Twitter lists in an amazing way. And you can do this for anything. Like even if you aren't in a market at the moment, you can do this for your hobbies. So for example, I'm going to click on add section here and you can see, oops, here's all of my different you know, my social networks that I've got there. I haven't got Flickr set up there. I must do that. And in this case, I am going to touch Twitter because we want to go to our Twitter lists. And you can see I can monitor save searches, which is incredibly powerful. So I can see everything that people are mentioning about me. <laughs> that could be joyous. Um, but of course, what I want to show you here is the Your Lists column. This is so cool, this technique. I hope you're, you're as excited as I am about this technique. So we've just created our Arsenal Top 20. So I'm going to tap Arsenal Top 20. And then, oh dear, that's interesting. Uh, but we are going to be able to have a look. And look at this. If we go through and follow, look at this. All the people that I was following, and I've created my own... Arsenal magazine and I've got all of the people that I'm trying to follow and put together if we fold and flip through this it's like all of the people that I was looking at and all the people that I added and look at this it's like my own Arsenal magazine now if I wanted to share any of this what's Jack doing Jack will she doing there so if this look at this photo <laughs> Good to see that he's uh, doing that. Look at this. I can do all these different things. So I could potentially retweet, retweet with a comment. I could also uh, reply back to Jack. But I can also, if I have different accounts, I can send those through to different accounts. Oh, look at this. If I hold this down, I can share this link and I can put that through to my Facebook, through to my Google Reader. Um... Or, of course, I can read later in, with Insta, Insta paper, but of course I'm not going to because this is a photo. Or indeed, I can go to the actual web address and view it on the web as well. So, and it'll bring that up. And this is where Flipboard becomes absolutely immense um, because it's just such a great way of following any topic that you want to follow. Everything to do with using Flipboard to be able to show and have a look at everything that is going on, which I think is fantastic and good to see Arsenal.com uh, iPad compliant. See, I can watch videos in there. I can have a look at all of this information. It's just brilliant. And this way you can, you know, this is the tool that you use for market leadership. Go Theo, isn't he amazing?